Today we might go Stevie, but it's so blimmin' easy, it's really absurd. So grab a hook and yarn and a cup of tea, and you can make a Stevie bird with me. Alright, so let's get into it. To make our Stevie birds, and here's a, an ex, here's a couple of them here that we saw in the introduction, we are going to need some basic bits and pieces. First of all, you are going to need some Merce, I make it with mercerized cotton yarn. You can use any um, types of yarns that you like, but um, usually I make these with a two and a half mil hook. You'll also need, you'll need to, if you use a larger, a thicker yarn, need to accommodate, use a bigger hook to accommodate for that. And of course you'll get a bigger birdie. First, what do you need? Apart from your yarn, and you won't really need a lot many grams of each colour, you can kind of use up your little scrap balls, is you'll need a two and a half mil crochet hook, uh, a, a darning needle to sew bits together. Um, now I do have for his eyes two, whoop, there you go, two six mil safety eyes. If you're giving the toy, any toys to little tiny, little tiny kids, Probably it's a better idea to embroider the eyes and, and things on so they, because they are safety eyes, but you know, when they want to bite something off, they're going to bite it off and we don't want our babies to choke. And also you can sew bits on together with the yarn, so with the similar colored yarn. So I think I've sewn this guy's wings on with the purple yarn here, but the thing I love to use is invisible thread. Look at that, you can, I don't know if you can even, you might be able to see the shine of it there. So you can sew your bits and pieces of your army groomy together and you can feel like Wonder Woman in her invisible jet, but you'll be like crafty Wonder Woman. Um, and I really like that because then it means that like with, um, when you sew them together, well hang on, where's some sewing stuff that's happened? Probably around the back here. You actually can't, you can't see the finish. Um, you can't see like the the threading in and out. It's quite it's quite nice. I don't know if I could focus on that. Just looks like they're kind of look at that. They're kind of mystically sitting together. Okay. Oh, and scissors. Ta da! Because that's and those are the basics anyway. You all know that, don't you? Of course you do. So to start off with. We're going to make the body. Here's an example of a, a Stevie Bird body just on its own and we're going to start making that. Um, I'm going to use this pretty yellow to make the body. Let's move all these bits and pieces out of the way. And to start making Stevie Bird's body what we do first is we simply start with a, 20, a chain of 22, 22 chains. So we'll just chain 22, one, two, I'll try and make it so it doesn't go blurry, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, whoops, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, did I say 20 or 22? We actually need 22 stitches, 21, 22. We need 22 stitches to start off with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Hooray! Okay, 22 stitches. And um, we will start by our first a row of single crochets and we'll start by single crocheting into the second stitch from the hook. And we will just single crochet across into each chain except of course for that very first one. Now remember 
I do try and keep it at um, me working at a nice even pace. If I'm going too slow for you, you can speed up. If I'm going too fast, hit the pause button and rewind. Um, when I'm doing, when I'll be working on a row where it's just sort of, you know, a whole bunch of normal boring stitches across and there's nothing tricky to do in the middle, um, I'll probably do like a fast forward where you can watch me sort of like those old fashioned movies where I'm going blah, 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 all the way to the end and that, um, and so you can pause if you like, but it just means you don't have to sit there silently watching me crochet across and it means the video doesn't go for that much long and YouTube doesn't get pissed off with me. Crocheting along with me. Awesome. It's like we're all sitting around the dining table together. Okay, so that's row one. Row two. We're going to, at the end of each row in this body, you chain one and then you turn. Now row two, we're going to start off by doing two single crochets into that first single crochet of the previous row. Then we're going to single crochet in one single crochet in each stitch across until we get to the end and then in the last stitch we're going to do two single crochets again so we've got an increase in the first and last stitch of row two. Some people might call their beginning chain a row but nah it's a chain let's let's just Let's not make things too complicated. Just pulling out some. Okay, so we're at the coming up to the end of row two, and let's see. And then we work two single crochets into the last stitch. And so we've got an. Remember, we've got two single crochets at the in the first, and two single crochets in the last. Okay, so that's. We pull that tight. Yeah, that's two rows. Next, chain one, of course, and then turn. Now, for chain for rows three and four, it is it is dead easy. All we do is we it's one single crochet into each stitch. That's all. Um, there's no increases or decreases. And at the end of chain three, uh, sorry, at the end of row three, remember you chain one and turn. And then for row four, it is another row of just single crochets. So you'll get to watch me do this in fast forward now. Just remember if you want to, if you want to sort of work on this, because um, this is going to speed up in a sec. If you want to work on this and you're working on it in real time with me, just remember you can pause the video or you can rewind if you get confused. Don't forget to chain one at the end of row three. Now we're at the end of row four. How are you going? Fantastic. Yeah, that was easy. Now, row four. So we'll chain one and turn. This is how our work is looking. Let's pull that little thread if it tries to open up. Okay, so now we've done our chain one. Row five, we're going to do two increases the same as row two. So we're actually going to do two single crochets into this first stitch, like that. And one single crochet across each stitch, into each stitch until we get to the last stitch and then we will work two single crochets in the last stitch as well. So it'll be two single crochets then I think it's like 22 maybe 21 then a single crochet across into every single stitch across and then two single crochets in the last stitch and that will give us a total of 25 stitches for this row when we're finished. Oop. Nearly there. More than halfway. 
It's always fiddly working with yarn and hooks this that are small like this. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Whoopsie. And remember we're now last stitch, so we've got to do two single crochets in here. One and two into that last stitch. Chain one and turn. Okay, we've got some fun in this one. In um, this is row six. We're going to inc um, increase, so we've got three extra stitches in this row. We're going to start off by doing two single crochets into the first stitch. Like one, two. Now we're going to work um, <clears throat> 11 single crochets, as in, or 11 stitches, so we're going to do a single crochet for the next 11 in each of the next 11 stitches. So we've got one and then in the next stitch two and then in the next stitch three four five six seven Oh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we're going to do two single crochets in this next stitch after we've done those eleven single crochets. And now another um, eleven single crochets, one in each of the next eleven stitches. One, two, three, whoop, four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Eleven. Now we've got one more stitch to work into the last one, and we do two single crochets in this one. One, two. Okay, let's have a look. See how it's kind of starting to kind of fan out there a little bit. So we'll chain one. And now we're up to, you should have now after that, there'll be 28 stitches, 28 stitches in a row. I'm sort of trying to keep it sort of here so that it doesn't get too blurry when I come in like that. Um, hopefully it's clear for you. Now we'll turn our work. And row seven is just easy. We're just going to single crochet across each stitch. No increases. Just one single crochet into each single crochet of the previous row. Okay, now we're at the end of row seven. So I'm working into the last stitch at the end of row seven because we haven't had any increases. We should still have uh, 20, we should be up to 28 stitches. And we'll chain one at the end of the row and turn. That's how we're looking. Hopefully you're looking that way too. Let's give myself some more string here. I mean I know it's yarn but it just feels like string doesn't it? Okay row eight we do have some increases. We're going to increase once but it's only in the middle so we're going to first work um, the, we're going to work one single crochet into each of the first 13 stitches. So we'll count one and then in the next stitch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, whoop, 10, 11, 12, and then 13. Once you've done 13, in the next stitch we'll do two single crochets in that same stitch. One and two. And now one single crochet into each of the next um, stitches to the end, which is actually 14. Um, doesn't matter that it's a little bit off centre. It's just that we're increasing. And we're nearly there. I didn't really bother counting there more because I know that it's um, 14 stitches across, but you can count along if you want. Nothing wrong with that. And so that means at the end of this row, there will be 29 stitches. At the end of row 8, there's 29 stitches across. Chain 1 and turn. Looking like this? Of course it is. You're doing fantastic. Hope you're enjoying a sunny or a lovely day wherever you are in the world. Here it's autumn and, um, and it's actually 28 degrees Celsius, would you believe it? Now row 9, all we're going to do is single crochet in every single stitch across so we're not no increases at all, just one single crochet in each stitch across. All right, working into that last stitch, and now we'll chain one and chain one and turn. So now we're up to we're about to start um, row ten, and with row ten there is uh, there's a we're going to start to decrease actually. We're going to do a little decrease, and that'll be fun when we get into it. So what we'll do first is we're going to single crochet once in each of the first fourteen stitches. So we will start with a single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <clears throat> eight, Nine, ten, eleven, there we go, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now for fun, invisible decrease. If you don't know what it is, I'll step you through it, but I also do have another um, YouTube tutorial about how to do this and I'll, I don't know how close in I can come because the camera goes a bit fuzzy, but what you do to do an invisible decrease is we actually insert the hook into the front loop only of the next stitch, let's see, front loop only, and then you kind of use your hook to hook around into the front loop of the next stitch after that. So <clears throat> I've got two front loops here. I'll do it again. Watch, watch closely, lovelies. Front, uh, insert the hook into the front loop only of the next stitch and then into the front loop of the stitch after that. So you're basically picking up two single crochets. Uh, ignore the back loops. Then you yarn over, slide through those um, loops that you've picked up so that then you will only have two loops left on the hook as if you're about to do a normal single crochet you yarn over and then slide through those remaining two loops like so basically you've done a single crochet but you've done it through two single crochets so two front loops I don't know how how close can I get in there you go so then when we do the next one in there so a single crochet into the next stitch Oh, try not to let, let the camera focus. Look at that. That's your invisible decrease right in the middle there. Right there. can barely notice it, but we've decreased. <clears throat> okay, so now we simply single crochet across to the all in all the remaining stitches. One single crochet in each.
Um, so that was um, 14 single crochets, an invisible decrease, and it will actually be um, 13 single crochets across to get to the end. So 14, decrease, 13. <clears throat> And I think we're now in the last stitch and chain one after that. Ta da! So now it's starting to have this funny kind of, it's doing all sorts of weird things. It's like, what are you doing? You're increasing, you're decreasing, you're making me all weird shaped. That's the point. And we'll turn. So now this is row 11. Um, so with row 9, we went up to 20. Um, 29 stitches across row 10 we went back down to 28 now we're in row 11 which will take us we're going to do another invisible decrease so first of all after you chain one and you turn we'll single crochet once in each of the next um, 13 stitches one two three Good, I was getting sick of counting. I kept feeling like I was hypnotizing you with the sound of my voice. Now we're going to do an invisible decrease. Remember, insert your yarn into your hook into the front loop of the next single crochet of the previous row, and then use your hook to hook around into the front loop of the next single crochet of the next um, of the previous row after that. Pull through both of those front loops. Got two loops left, yarn over and pull through and now we're going to single crochet in to the end and this actually will be 13 stitches 13 single crochets across uh, that was row 11 that we've nearly done we've only got four rows left to go can you believe it this one this piece is only 15 rows wide long wide 15 rows Whoop, get in there bugger yeah all right chain one because now we're going to do some serious uh, more invisible decreases okay so we'll turn our work row 12 we're going to decrease twice so first we will single crochet across in one single crochet in each uh, of the next eight stitches. So I just did one, two, oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, eight. We'll do an invisible decrease. Front loop and front loop. Yarn over, pull through those two front loops that you've got on the hook. Yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. Now we're going to single crochet the next seven stitches. So we'll single crochet in one and then in the next one two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. We're going to do another invisible decrease. Uh, so we'll front loop, yarn into the front loop, yarn into the next front loop, like that. Yeah, focus, come on camera, get your bits together. No, doesn't like it. It's being grumpy. 
So yarn over and then pulling through and then yarn over. Oh, don't mind me, that was just my phone. Then we'll just um, single crochet into the remaining, should be eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So the last one, chain one, and then we'll turn. Okay, so now we're up to row 13. Unlucky for some, not for us. This is going to be fun. We're nearly there, three rows left. So we're going to single crochet, going to work actually two single crochet in this first stitch. One, two, and then we are going to single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to um, invisible, so we've done seven, we're going to now invisible decrease. Front loop, next front loop, yarn over, pull through the front loops, yarn over. And we're going to single crochet in each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and then another invisible decrease. Front loop, front loop. See, I kind of basically grab up that second front loop with my hook. And then we'll increase in, uh, sorry, we'll single crochet in the last um, stitches across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I've just done seven. What I should have said before was we're going to single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. In the last stitch, number eight, we're going to do two single crochets. Like what we, copy what we did at the beginning. Um, and so we're going to single crochet into the, two single crochets into this last stitch. One, two, three, and chain one, and turn. How's it going? See, it's kind of getting this real scoopy shape. We're getting there. We're sort of getting there. This is sort of the top, and we're shaping our belly as uh, our belly. And so now, what we'll do is row 14. We're going to work a single crochet into each of the next seven stitches of the previous row, and then do some invisible decreases. So that's two. Three, four, five, six. So we'll chain one <clears throat> and turn. Now, what we're going to do for row 13 is first we'll actually do two single crochets in that first stitch. So we're going to do increases and decreases in this one row. So we'll do two single crochets as an increase in the first stitch. Whoops, I picked up some extras. There we go. One, two. And then we will single crochet in the next seven stitches across. So we'll go one, two, three, four, Five, <clears throat> six, seven. 
Now we're going to do an invisible decrease, picking up the front loop of the next stitch and then the front loop of the second next stitch along, yarn over, take it through those two loops, you should have two loops left on the hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. Uh, now we're going to single crochet in the next five stitches of the previous row, so we'll just go one, two, is that two? No, it's three. What am I doing? Where am I? Who am I? What's that strange smell? I don't know. <laughs> two. Oh, so that's actually four. Sorry guys, I lost track. Five and... Now we're going to do another invisible decrease. So we'll go into the front loop and then into the next front loop, yarn over, pull through both of those front loops, yarn over again and pull through the remaining two loops. And then you should single crochet in the next seven um, stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, give myself some more yarn, six, seven, and then two single crochets in this last chat in this last stitch here. So we'll go in. God, I always do it too tight, I think, or it's just too tricky in the last stitch. Do you have that problem? I do. So we'll go one, two. Now, that was row 13. If you were to count, you should see how it's doing this curl? Now it's got a definite curve from those decreases. Um, all right. So now we'll go invisible decrease, yep. So we'll go chain one and we'll turn. Uh, and our row 14 is seven single crochets across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now here's some fun for you. We're going to do two invisible decreases, um, one after the other. So first we'll do the first one as usual, picking up that front loop, hooking and picking up that second front loop, um, slide, I would say slide through both loops but it never really works out that way, and then yarn over, pull through both loops and we'll do it again slide into the front loop of the first stitch, into the front loop of the second stitch, yarn over, bring it through both of those loops, two loops left, yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. Now after that what we're going to do is do a single crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, whoop, two, three, and once again now two in, invisible decreases one after the other so front loop oh, front loop I'm trying to kind of angle it in so you can see front loop yarn over pull through those two front loops oh uh oh I lost it come back there we go yarn over pull through next again into the next stitch front loop and then grab the front loop of the stitch after that, yarn over, pull through those front loops, so pull through two loops. I'd like to say that it slides easily but often it doesn't. Yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. And then we just single crochet into every stitch to the end. You're like, phew, thank goodness all those invisible decreases are finished. Oh my gosh, they're driving me nuts. Well, 
just you wait lovers because we've got row 15 the final row uh, but we've got a whole bunch of invisible decreases in there just for fun just because I love torturing you all no not really we need to kind of form his belly okay so chain one turn look how curly it is now see starting to really form his form his little um, underside okay so now we're going to single crochet in the next seven stitches single crochet in each of the next seven stitches of the previous row so I just did one two three four five six seven and now we've got four invisible decreases in a row four of them you ready okay get yourself comfy okay front loop front loop yarn over pull through the two front loops yarn over next that's one front loop front loop yarn over pull through those front loops yarn over that's two now front loop front loop and over it sounds like I'm just reciting something for you but I tend to kind of do it in my head when even when I'm on my own um, how many have we done now oh god I've lost count have we done four can you believe I lost count oh uh, yes we have no we've done three front loop for no, I think we have done four. Can you believe it? How unprofessional. I completely forgot whether we'd done them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Okay, one more. Sorry, guys. Ah, that's right. Front loop, front loop. Right through. You know that when you're counting and you're crocheting and then you kind of lose track because you start thinking about other things? Now we crochet in each stitch to the end and um, it should just be six stitches. Two, three, four, oops, five, and then my tight little end stitch. That was a bit tight that one, gosh I'm naughty. I must have been feeling tense and tension, there you go. There, we have actually done. What we're going to do now is actually slip stitch these two um, these two sides together. Can I get it around? See these? They're going to join up now. And we're going to slip stitch them together. So what I do is I start off by getting the other corner, finding this, the opposite stitch on the corner, and starting off with a slip stitch I know it's probably a bit unwieldy and cumbersome but then I kind of turn it so that I'm working you know right to right to left and I just make sure I match stitch match each sides of the stitches together and slip stitch in each across move it there How are you going? I know this is where it's like, ah, where's the next stitch? I don't know, I can't find it. Um, as long as it kind of matches up and it looks even when you've, oops, sorry, move it down. When you um, finish doing it, um, then it should be fine. Shouldn't be any dramas. All right, and I'll do one more in the end in the middle there that's where it sort of all joins up and that should be it so I'm going to um, cut my yarn doesn't need to be doesn't need to be really long because we're not going to do anything with this and you and then we just knot it off and I don't um, you don't even need to sew it in because it's army garumi when you stuff him you can have all your threads sitting around inside See, there we go. We've just done our body. Here's his little bum. And he sits like that. Fantastic. So now we're going to get ready to do the head. 
Ta-da!